me, OG Duffy, and I've had another marketplace pickup. Now, this time, it was an interesting one because it wasn't like a console, it wasn't like a, a huge amount of games or anything, but this guy just put up individual titles and said, inquire for prices. I'm always very dubious when they say that because it tells me, hmm. Now, they had a real mixed bag of games here and uh, there's some real, real good titles and some great retro titles. So, of course, I got a little bit excited and then I started communicating with a fella. But before we go down what I picked up, which I did, we will take a look at the listing first. So here's them listings. So I spotted this listing and there's four pages of different game titles like this. I mean, uh, obviously a perfect dark there. Um, what else did we have? A, a few games here. I mean, nothing overstruck me on this one, but um, it was a start, you know. Now, a couple of interesting titles on this one, but as you can see, I mean, you know, like your your Master System and your Mega Drive games here, were all your sports titles, and I mean, let's be honest, they are still pretty much to a penny, so nothing too special with that one, although the Intellivision title was uh, looked in very good condition, that's a bit different, something you don't see every day. Now some interesting titles here, these caught my eye, these ones, uh, as you know I've said in previous uh, videos, Wii U I think is going to be a very collectible system in the future, and uh, it's, it's a, something I'll be doing a future video about, okay, so uh, the titles were getting a bit more interesting now. And on the final page of the listings we had these here, as you know there's some loose carts there, now those that watch the channel will follow me with my pickup videos and all that sort of stuff. Um, I don't really go for um, loose carts. I try to get box games only with obviously manuals and stuff complete. Uh, not quite sure what that is at the top there. Is it? I get, oh, my eyes ain't as good as some of you youngsters. Come on, what's that say? Is that Daggerfall? It looks like a user guide. I don't even think it is a, is a complete game. I don't know, you tell me. But again, some more of these Intellivision cartridges here. A uh, very good condition as well. They look, look pretty pucker, them ones. So uh, that uh, shows the listing that was on Face Bay. Uh, so let's see how I got on. So I spoke to the fella. And I said, it's obvious to me, because I asked about the pricing, and it's, uh, I, said, I did a bit of, quick bit of research, you know, because you have to be quick when you're a marketplace. And I did a quick bit of research, and I said to him... Uh, you're pricing your, your games based on CEX prices. I'm realising that. I said, so I then gave him a list of the games I wanted. And I said, will you do these titles at this price? And I offered him £20 for the titles. And he come back and said, yes. And I said, I'll collect this evening. I'll get there now. And I left the house. I think it was uh, it was a Friday night. And it was probably about half nine, ten o'clock. But uh, he said, as long as you're here by half ten. Luckily, he's about a quarter of an hour, 18 minutes away. So I got there, picked him up, and this is what I got. But before I show you what I got, if you don't already subscribe, please do so. Because as you know, it puts a smile on my face and makes me happy. And hey, you've done something good for the day. You've done a good deed. And equally, comment what decent marketplace pickups have you had, if any. And uh, let me know what you think about these titles I picked up and the prices. Now, as always, what I'm going to do, as you know, I spent a total of 20 pounds and i'm gonna have running uh, totals going i'm gonna have um this time i'm gonna do um the cex value what i'd have had paid in cex up in that corner and up in that corner i'm gonna do an average of the last three sold listings from ebay uh, how much these games went for so did i get a bargain or not let's find out so the titles i picked up firstly picked up this one invisibles I believe that's how it's pronounced, Invisimals, The Lost Kingdom on PS3. Okay, so I'm adding them totals to the price. Uh, CX, eBay. Remember, the last three sold listings. I'm taking the average of the last three sold listings for the prices. Uh, so I know nothing about that game at all. This one here, uh, blah, 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 blah. Dark Kingdom on the PS3. Now, I've no idea about this game. I didn't know a lot about it, but I like the look of it. Hey, it's fantasy and... Uh, she looks pretty pretty good warrior S there, and it's a next-gen action RPG, apparently. So, there we go. Pick that one up. Next one. Uh, I meant to pick this up from CEX a while ago, but I didn't get round to it. Um, and I was going to pick this one up along with its uh, the the, um, the the follow-up to it as well. But, like I say, they weren't in when I got there. But anyway, Xbox, original Xbox game, The Suffering. The Suffering. Now, it's an 18-rated game, obviously a bit of a horror title. Okay, looked at this and I thought, yeah, 
It's a Midway game. It's a horror title. Original Xbox. I'll have a look at that. Um, all of these come with manuals and discs. Of course they've got the discs. I don't know why people always say that, but hey, I'm one of them guys. I always say it. Discs there. Um, of course it is. That's what you buy them for. But the manual, obviously, I'm a bit of a completist. If I order something, I want the manual with it. Okay. Then I've got two Wii U titles, and they were these. Bayonetta. Okay, Bayonetta. Uh, really like the look of these, all right. Uh, looks a bit arcadey. I don't know. What's it about? Brace yourself for the climax. Who were there, missus? Uh, this witch sends angels to meet their maker. Mate, sounds, sounds good, but Bayonetta and uh, Wii U. Now, with the Wii U, I've... Uh, I'm starting to pick up Wii U games and I'm starting to tuck them away because I think it's going to be a real collectible system in the future. I will do a separate video about it, okay? Anyway, next pick up from this guy was... Remember, all of these titles cost me £20. That's the running title, what I'd have to pay if I was in the CEX shop, what I'd pay if I was off the shelf price. And that's the running total for eBay, of course, the last three sold listings average price. There we go. Another Wii U title, Bayonetta 2. The witch is back. But we've got a question to ask ourselves here. Which witch is which? English teacher taught me that. <laughs> anyway, there we go. So that's another one there. <sighs> These sort of come with Wii U pamphlets, more safety things than anything. Because uh, I think on the Wii U, you get your instructions on the actual sort of gamepad, I believe. And one more title I got from this fella. And it was this. Shenmue 3 on the PS4. Now, I own Shenmue 1 and 2 on the Dreamcast. I've got both versions on the Dreamcast. And I have to say, uh, it's my Shenmue 2 edition, which is in storage. As you can see, it's all coming out. Every video, you'll see more and more sort of appearing. Um, and it's never been played. It's a mint on that one in the cardboard sleeve and all that. So anyway, Shenmue 3. And I've got an experience of this one because I've not played it myself. So... Let's take a look at them running totals. So, as you saw, as I was going in, I was putting the prices up that I, uh, you know, that I paid, well, not that I paid, because so I paid a total of £20 for the lot. But uh, the prices that CEX would uh, charge me if I was to buy it, and the price on the last three sold listings from eBay with the price averaged out. Okay? So, let's tally it up now. So if I was to go into CEX and buy these off the shelf, it would cost me a total of £29. £29 right there. Okay? Fair enough, I think. You know, I mean, I, I, I think for a marketplace price, it was, mate, oh, I don't know. But anyway, eBay. What have I paid on eBay? Remember, the free average of the last sold prices? 53 75 Now, that's a good price. But obviously, with eBay, remember, you've got your listing fees, your, your postage and packing, and all that sort of stuff to come off and all that. But remember, these are all going into my collection anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's just This is just a bit of fun. These totals are just a bit of fun as we go. So, what do you think, folks? Was this a good buy or not? To be honest and to be fair, uh, it's not the best marketplace price. But the guy knew what he was selling. So I'll be honest, I didn't ask the price of the other stuff because it was, you just know when, when they're using CEX, then, you know, they know what they're asking. But anyway, I don't think uh, a £9 saving on these, so not too bad. And uh, like I say, if I'd have purchased them on eBay or gone to resell them on eBay, then I could flip a profit. I mean, potentially, I could double my money on these via the eBay prices uh, if I took off the fees and everything, uh, fees and posting and packing and stuff. I reckon I could double my money on these if I chose to flip them. But I'm not flipping them. Now, thanks for watching, folks. I've been OG Duffy. Hit that subscribe button if you don't already do so. And uh, comment. Let me know. Good price, bad price. What games are these do you like? Which ones have you played? Which ones are good? Which ones are not so good? Okay, thanks for watching. I do lots of these sort of pickup videos and stuff and game hunting videos and stuff. And I'll do my versus videos as well. So if you're new to the channel, go check out my older material. Because, hey, you'll have great fun watching it all. Anyway, see you all next time. Cheers. If you watch the video and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe for more great videos. Thanks for watching.